We're doing some off roading in my Jeep. Ah, not bad. Well, I wasn't even trying to make it up this hill, so I don't even care. Put some rolling stones on in the car. Mm, good. I got a leaf spring that's on the verge of breaking on that side underneath the seat through the invisible inspection hole on the floor. Well, that shouldn't be there. <laughs> so I can't beat it too bad. So far, I'm impressed though. I'm liking it. I really don't need four wheel drive for this, but it's never been used in a while, so I figured I'd better break it in. It's a little rusty the linkage, too, so I don't want it seizing on me, so I might as well use it. on the wipers. <laughs> Oops. part-time. Wow, not too shabby. Nice, looks good. The way a Jeep should look. What do we got over here? Looks like you got pieces of a... Uh, not a Cherokee, it looks like some sort of a Ford Tempo or something. Bumper and shit. A lot of shit back here. Looks like this is where all the kids dump their booze to get rid of it, to hide it from their parents. Can't blame them. Yeah, looks like to me. Yeah, they dump everything back here. Nice. Piss off those stupid tree huggers. Yeah, what do we got here? An old mirror box. Yep. What's left of it? Yeah. Well. I kind of want to go for another run the end of the road there. It's always a good idea to shut off the engine when you put it in full load because it can grind. And you don't want to do that. I had that problem with my other Cherokee, my, my Grand Cherokee.
thing though. Not that much of a tank. Yeah, this is my second tank full in this car. My uh, first tank full, I was getting uh, 18 miles to the gallon in this box. I mean, no aerodynamic or aerodynamics whatsoever, and I still squeezed 18. I don't know how it does it. But I was and I was driving it like normally, you know, not even babying it, and I still got 18 miles to the gallon. That's the uh, gas receipt right here. See, 17.9 miles to the gallon. Wild man. after the rain we had. That fucking spare tire. Ugh. What have we got back here? Huh. Interesting. I didn't even notice this on the way back. Ah, this comes up by self Shumps of the Road. Aha. Well, we gotta back up. Wonder why it's clunking like that. Some of my U joints are on their way out. That fucking spare tire, Jesus Christ. Look at this sucker. It'll be nice. Oh, that could be my front axle. That clunking because the, uh, they have universal joints on them. Front end, front axle's got the Cardian U joints on it. Which is surprising considering it's a Cherokee. Ooh. Shot up a nice thing of mud. I'm not even on the heavy stuff yet. I'm not even doing it. I'm not even on the hard off-roading yet. 